Oh, happy days! I wish upon a star that I don't have to set up AV Jacks. Welcome to Let's Play Mario Party, and we are in Eternal Star! It's about that little joke I made. Well, I actually, I recorded this board earlier today, a couple hours ago. And, uh, well, first, baby jacks were set up wrong, and I had to keep adjusting them. Then I got into the board, they turned off. I mean, they, they unplugged, I adjusted it to about a couple seconds. Oh, sorry, I'm just gonna cut the text. And, uh, and then, what, at one point I tried to adjust it, it didn't work out in just a few seconds, so I decided to just throw away the footage. I don't care. See, so, um, last time, and also, I was doing awful, I was Mario last time as well. I had, like, one star, and I lost it, and then I just, I, my maximum point out was, like, 30, and I just was doing awful. The only thing redeeming is that I landed on a happening place. So yeah, the two main gimmicks of the board. The first one is that, uh... Baby Bowser will, uh... He's made the folks in there, Koopa, and Toad. And also, uh... There's seven stars around the board, and not one, obviously. And those stars, if hey Koopa get 20 points, and then you roll the dice block 8 to 10, like the hot, like the green block thingy. And, uh... You're putting out, and then he rolls a norm block. And, uh... Whoever gets the best roll wins. Now, if you win, then you get the star. If you don't win, you either don't get the star, or if you have a star, then you lose it. And that happened, like, three times to me alone. Like, everyone else got it once. Like, I don't know, he, like, when I first played this, no one got it. Then when I played it the second time, not, not counting the other time I recorded it, like, one per- it got- was gotten, like, once. And of course, he has to go after me. Oh. Never mind. I never knew that was possible. It's just crazy. It's so cool. Jack's beating them at once or at the start, so. She's gay. She's just say, it's all monkey. Stupid monkey. <laughs> Uh, this board, it's, it's actually, I forgot to mention this last time I recorded it, but it's a pretty good board. It's definitely better than Magma Mountain. And it's slightly less luck based. Hurrah! I'm just gonna barely miss the hack on this face. Hurrah. Also, uh, last time I went first, and that, that was. That, uh, boosted my spirits. Oh. Sorry. Thought that would take me back to the start. I do not want a 10. Because I don't want to pass one of the a trillion stars. You broke, scram! Yeah, that's probably a stupid idea, because DK is going this way. He has enough for a star. Or, like, I could just, you know, like, skip the star. It's fine, too. Uh... Who's there? Who's here? Okay, both of them just passed the star. I'm fine, though. Uh, last in... That part one of Bowser Bango Mountain, uh... You, could you couldn't see the very right and the very top, but I fixed that later, and I'm pretty sure that it was not blocked off in this part. Yeah, it's definitely not. So you should see fine. Sorry about that one part not being able to see like some people's stars and some people's calling them out. Star. Haven't played this one in a while. Yeller. No! Oh, I'm so lucky! I just happened to be going the wrong way so I had to make a risky jump. Jump! 
drop mushroom. I love it when it's black, especially when people miss it, like DK. Like, how could you miss the middle mushroom? It's just uh, so pathetic. I was like, I'm about to say so, and then I'm like, and then I was just like pathetic, so I'm like, it's pathetic or something. Whatever I said. For a second I thought I was stuck, and they were like blocking me. Oi! Get off my mushroom! Especially if it's green. Yes! That's why you always go the middle. Hmm. Oh, it doesn't say Mario wins or whatever. Woohoo! I got it! You punches got owned! Oh, good, I thought I was gonna get like, a really high number and then uh, get to the start right. I didn't find Yoshi went back to start. So I should say that when I first, when I very first played this board, like people were just getting happening spaces like crazy. I mean seriously, like I mean not happening spaces, chance time spaces. There must have been at least ten. Only not at least ten, but there was at least like eight happening spaces. Okay, well this is a uh, Bowser. What he basically does is he steals 16 coins. Well, he steals like 20 coins, I think, if you don't have a star. But if you have a star, he'll we'll automatically take it. Now, coming up from Bowser's Magnum Mountain, where he takes either a star or coins when you have a star, that's pretty bad. But to keep in mind, there are seven stars, and it's pretty likely that you won't always. I mean, uh, you'll have a lot of stars for the most part. And losing a star isn't that bad. And everyone has like five. Not five, but like four or three. And I can just barely get to it. See, I don't see the uh, the one-on-one -on -one valves of Mario, or big valves of Mario. I actually I actually thought that uh Big Bowser's first appearance was in the second game, Mario Party 2. So yeah, I exactly what I explained, you got it you rolled eight and nine, ten block. See, now I think it's impossible for him to win. But if he does win, then you lose your star. Five. Okay, that's much worse than what he did the first couple times. I remember, I was the first one he got a star. I think it was his exact same star. Because like, I think there's only seven star spawn points. So I have to use the same ones each time. And then, like... Peach won one, and I think like Donkey Kong or Yoshi won one, but then after that, like everyone just kept getting the low numbers or something. And Bloom Burst! Have played enough of this? This has got to be the most played minigame. We've played this like several times. <laughs> Uh, I think we should talk about the future for this, uh, this next play. Like, uh, after this, I'm going to do one of the extras to the minigame stadium. Basically, just like this, except there's no blue spaces or red spaces or question mark spaces or anything that can really affect you besides, besides if you go around the board to get 10 coins. There isn't even intersections. But it's basically just all minigames, and you have to win a bunch of minigames and do something like your fantastico good. And Donkey Kong is still the only one who can afford a star. Well, not. It's not still, but I could. I could. I, I mean, I can't right now. Just barely. Is that a smash? That's a smash. See, I sort of like, is that, like, see how he's brought Bowser draw, like, a bunch of random, pointless stuff on this thing. And, like, a lot of it is, like, the things he did in the board. It's like, there's this, the, the, his star, the cannon, the choke point thingy, whatever it's called, the choke point, uh, well, it's not called the choke point thing, but, you know, not an original, nice little stuff called. Thanks, people. Famous people, people who are talented, like some cool. 
pepper treachery, as in not good nutchery or something. I do not like this minigame, it's just, no matter what you want, it's just unentertaining. I mean, you have such a lag when you're the canning guy, and it's so hard to stay on when you're the type of dude It went, like, through him on it, like, it was going up, but it, like, went through him. Ha! You are getting the ownage tone out of him. Just shoot it, Fox! Why does it take, like, a full second to shoot? Sometimes it seems to like shoot instantly, but most times it just stops. You guys, hit him to one direction. I think the more leaves that are there, the like the the closer you are to the finish. I don't, I don't know that close back, but just, uh, Him! Finish. Dang it! See, I don't like that minigame. I mean, it's just because it's hard. It's because it's kind of, you can't really control if you win or lose or not. And dang it, now I don't have enough for the star. I'm just kind of hoping that I would get the star right away. DK obviously will. Maybe not. I'm well, not this turn. I think that's true. Ooh, she actually got Boo. Lucky her. Uh, yeah, I rarely get Boo. As you can see, he's just on his one island. And she actually didn't steal from me. That's really surprising. That's like one in a million that the comm won't steal from you if you're in the lead or if you have the most coins. You seem to steal from you all the time, even if you're not winning or if you don't have. I mean, if you're either winning or you have the most coins, they'll steal from you. But if you're not either of those, they'll steal from probably the player first. It just seems like it happened all the time. Oh, apparently Peach is going to get the star. <laughs> Or she's just going to fail miserably and waste her 20 coins. Eep! But so far, this is actually going better than last time. That's not saying much because last time went terribly. I mean, the story is just spawning on happening spaces. Is it go figure or go figure? I think it's figure, but I like saying figure because it's funny sound. Because it's funny sound! I kind of want to be ex courageous and go this way, but last time I was courageous, I went to Bowser. See ya! Ooh, two versus two. Desert Dash. Good thing it was one of the uh, the good mini games. One of the two. There's like two good or two versus two games. This one and, and uh, Bowser Run. Wait, what, what's the fifth one? Uh. Oh, yeah. This one's probably the second best, then Bob's the one's probably the best, then this one, then uh, Bob's the ball, and then uh, either Handcar Havoc or Peachy Divers. There's only five two player games. I was surprised too. Like in the other games, it's much more common to get two versus two, but this one, it's really, really rare. I don't know why, they just it just seems so much rarer in this one. Oh, I got it! Ah, good timing. Oh, kind of. Puzzle! See you later! Bye!